symbiotic relationships are relationships when two organisms are living closely together, um, but they're different types of organisms. And there are three different types of symbiotic relationships. The first one I want to talk about is called mutualism. Mutualism. In mutualism, two organisms live closely together and both of them benefit. Both benefit. I'll give you an example of this. Um, so our example for mutualism, how about we use um, bees, bees and plants. All right, so plants provide nectar for bees as a form of food and bees transfer the pollen of plants and aid them in reproduction. And so both bees and plants benefit from a relationship called mutualism. The second type of symbiotic relationship I want to talk about is called commensalism. In commensalism, one organism benefits, one benefits, but the other one is unaffected. Uh, our, our little example for commensalism will be a shark and a type of fish called a remora. Remora. A remora has a sucker on its head. It's a fish with a sucker on its head, and it can hitch a ride on the shark with using this sucker. And also, whenever a shark eats something, the remora can kind of get all of the shark's leftover food. So the shark is unaffected. Shark is unaffected, but the remora is able to benefit. And that is commensalism. The last kind of symbiotic relationship is called parasitism. Parasitism is a relationship between two different types of organisms where one benefits, one benefits, but the other one is harmed. The other is harmed. Harmed. And our example for parasitism will be a tick and a, let's use a person, so a human. A tick is able to take the blood of the human and the tick benefits, that's the, the one is benefiting, but the other organism, the human, is being harmed because the human is losing blood and being hurt by the tick. And those are the three types of symbiotic relationships.